found a two minute hack that can drastically increase your audience retention of videos that you've already posted to your channel. Look, YouTube can be incredibly frustrating. You put a ton of time and effort and energy into your videos, you post them to YouTube, you go to bed and then you wake up the next morning and they have a grand total of four views again. And often the worst part is when you log into your analytics dashboard and you look at your audience retention graphs, they look like a downward staircase. And you think to yourself, how could this happen? I thought this video was so good. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes that video actually was really good. However, there might be specific points within the video that triggered people and caused them to leave and resulted in them not consuming the remainder of the video. In other words, it doesn't matter how great your video was overall, these little obstacles, these drop-offs, these dips, especially if they're early on, ruin your chances of getting a high average view duration and getting promoted by the algorithm. And I had this happen to me recently. I worked really hard on a video. I spent over 60 hours scripting, preparing and researching and I was super proud of it. But when I came back to it a day after it had gone live, I saw one of those dreaded obstacles. I saw a very specific dip at a very specific point. And when I rewatched the video, I realized I had frayed something super stupidly, which caused a bunch of people to leave and was ruining my retention. Outside of that one point, the rest of the video was great and was retaining tons of people. But the problem was early on, a bunch of viewers were hitting that wall, that obstacle and dropping off before they could get to the good bit. And so here's the thing I did that took me literally less than two minutes, but may have saved that video. I simply went into the YouTube video editor and chopped that segment completely out of my video. And that was that. From then on, since that friction point had been eliminated, it was easier for more people to flow on and continue watching the rest of my video. Now, I'm not saying all of those people would have continued watching the entire video, but at the very least, most of them left the video later than they would have if I hadn't removed that friction point. And that meant that overall, I get a higher average view duration. So this is a super easy but ninja technique you can use and I'll show you how to do it in just a sec. But I want to give you one more example because another cool way you can use this is with dates. No, not romantic dates. I'm still figuring that one out. But like date and times. For example, I had a video about the best editing software for gaming YouTubers. At the beginning of that video, I said, so in 2019, what are the best editing softwares for gaming YouTubers or something like that. I can't remember exactly what I said. Now that worked great for 2019, but nowadays the 2019 bit of that hook is more likely to be a negative rather than a positive. The annoying thing was though, that all of the information in that video was still very relevant and up to date, the only thing that was killing it was the fact that I said in 2019. So what I did, again, went into the YouTube video editor, chopped off the so in 2019 bit. And so after that, the video simply started with what are the best video editing softwares to edit gaming videos for YouTube? And that would have resulted in more people sticking with my video early on. So if you want to do this for your videos, all you have to do is go to YouTube Studio, hover over the video that you think might have some friction points and click on analytics. In your analytics, you'll be able to see your audience retention and pick out any potential friction points. I'll talk more about how to do that in a second. But once you identify them, all you have to do is come over to this editor tab, and then you click here to bring up this screen. Then all you have to do is drag these little playheads so that the part of the video you wanna remove is darkened out. And then you just apply those changes and in a few hours, YouTube will have removed any of those bits indicated in the grayed out area, but your video itself will still have remained the same. It'll still have the same views, same comments, same everything. All that's changed is you've removed the little friction point. And there you go, you've given your video a much better data-driven chance of succeeding and it's literally taken you all of two minutes. But if you need help learning how to actually analyze your audience retention graphs, what to look for, click on the video up on screen now. In it, I'm gonna go over a bunch of different examples, specifically focusing on intros and outros, because they can be super important. So click it now and I'll see you there.